This campaign. Okay. Now let's all just take a deep breath and relax. Now one thing you can count on. I'm not writing any damn memoir. Because if I said all the interesting stuff, I couldn't keep running for office. And I don't want to write all the dull stuff. So memoir, forget it. And I'm glad uh, Gavin's got the math ability. When I went to UC, I got my degree in Latin and Greek. So I may not know how to count too well, but I know about Latins and Greeks. I know about, you know, I know about a lot of obscure stuff. And when you try to read Meg Whitman's economic plan, you have to be able to get into some pretty obscure stuff. Because it's not there. It's spoken mirrors. And I'm not gonna, we got a president here, we got a mayor from San Francisco. By the way, that San Francisco, it's a pretty good city. Now, wait a minute, is, I was born there, so I know. But I can tell you, there's a big difference between San Francisco and Oakland. San Francisco, it's almost foggy all the time. In Oakland, the sun always shines. That's the difference. No, anyway, they're both joined together. It's actually one urban dynamic creative place, just like California itself. California is a state of imagination, of creativity, just like this university. And that's what I see in the next four years, a creative, dynamic place. And, you know, we're not poor. People say, gee, things are, yeah, they're tough. I mean, I, I know we've got a lot of problems, got people out of work, we got foreclosures. It's a tragedy. Anytime somebody loses their job or their house. But remember, California last year generated $1.8 trillion of new wealth. Okay, this year, it'll even be more. This is one of the richest places in the whole world. We have enough wealth to continue to have a great university and get every kid in this school that can qualify. And when I say every young man and young woman, I mean everyone, whether they're documented or not, if they went to school, I sign, but of course I'm not going to sign any bills to get the budget solved, so that may take me a couple of months. Look, this is a real clear campaign. I want to hear from the president, so I'll just make it real simple. We've got a real clear contrast. We have Ms. Whitman against marriage equality. I'm for it. Whitman wants to suspend our global warming law and cave in to our friends from Texas. I know. And my opponent wants to give a gigantic $5 billion tax break to the richest people in California. And I don't. By the way, I asked Meg, Meg, how much will you make personally from your tax break, which is the key platform, it's the key plank of your whole economic plan. And she won't say. She says, well, I'm an investor. We don't talk about how much money we make. Well, I think the people have a right to know. That's fundamental in democracy. We have a right to know what our public officials are going to get from the stuff that they want us to vote for. So, man, own up. How much are you going to make out of your own tax break? Yeah. By the way, don't worry. I don't think she's going to get a chance to get that tax break. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's great to just see all everybody out here tonight. It's energy, and I feel good about this. We got some problems. I know their things are screwed up, but let me tell you this. At some point, the breakdown prepares the way for a breakthrough, and that's why I'm running for governor. We're going to have a breakthrough. I'm confident. Now, let me say something about, I want to I was say something about, I got to say something about Gavin. We need him real badly, okay? I don't want to have that other guy breathing down my back. I want, I want someone pushing me toward the future, not pulling me back to the past. That's Gavin Newsom. And I know Newsom. I yeah, appoint his father a judge. So uh, we go back a long way. So I know the Newsoms. He's okay. He's smart. And by the way, I know he's pretty. When I was his age, I had more hair than he 
need it. So, don't worry. Every time I lose a, a hair, I get more brains. So, Gavin for Lieutenant Governor. Now let me tell you about President Clinton. We, I don't need to say much. President Clinton not only was great in office, he's great after office. You know, he's not, he didn't retire to Palm Springs to play golf. He's out there doing stuff. He's helping people in Haiti. He's fighting AIDS. He's dealing with the victims of tsunamis. He's a guy who is mobilizing the highest spirit, the angels of our better spirits. And he's doing it. And that's the spirit I'd like to bring to California. And remember, when he was president, we had a budget surplus. We, the poor people, did rise up the income scale. And it wasn't just all about tax breaks. I mean, we had the voodoo economics. Bush said, give me my tax breaks, and we got the worst meltdown and recession since the Great Depression. We don't want to go that way. So it's great to be standing next to the president who really gave this country some optimism and some excitement, some practicality, and wow. We're going to do the same thing in California. We're going to get this state moving, and we're going to, as Bill Clinton say, put people first. People come first. Whatever their color, whatever their status, whatever their gender. People first. That was Bill Clinton as president. That's Bill Clinton as president emeritus. And someday I'm going to join him doing all that good work myself. President Bill Clinton.